Hey, Sonia. Have you heard the news? What news? You look serious. Great and Tata passed away. Oh no. I hadn't heard. When did it happen? Yesterday. I saw it on the news. What a legend. He was an iconic businessman and philanthropist. Exactly. He transformed Tata Group into a global powerhouse. And his philanthropic work, especially in education and health care, has made a huge impact. Yes, and who can forget Nano, the world's cheapest car? He made owning a car accessible to so many. That was revolutionary. And the Tata Group's acquisition of Jaguar Land Rover and Cora Steel showcased his vision and strategic thinking. He was a true visionary. Do you think his legacy will continue? Definitely. The Tata Group is in good hands with the current leadership. And his philanthropic initiatives will continue to make a difference. Absolutely. The Tata Trusts have been doing incredible work. What I admire most is his humility and simplicity despite being one of India's most successful business leaders. Yes. He remained grounded and committed to giving back. Remember the story about him working on the shop floor at Tata Steel? Yes. That's the kind of leader he was, hands-on and people-oriented. His commitment to corporate social responsibility was unparalleled. And he empowered women in the workforce. That's so inspiring. We need more leaders like him. His autobiography is on my reading list. I've read it. It's fascinating. What struck you most? His resilience and determination. Yes. Overcoming obstacles and criticism. And still achieving greatness. We can learn so much from his life. His legacy will continue to inspire generations.